All right. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> it's a little weird. Um, welcome to uh, Thursday night, uh, Ben's Brick Designs. I'm Ben. Nice to see everybody. Hello, James. Um, good to see you. Uh, a little bit different setup tonight. Uh, keep uh, keep weird Austin people in Austin. Yep. Let's see if I can switch this up a little bit so I can see a little better. Um, got a little bit of different setup here. Sorry for the light. I can't really figure out how else to do it, um, but I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, doing some building tonight. Oh, and of course, the camera doesn't work. So let's do this. How you doing, James? Again, it's the thing where it doesn't work very well. And Greg's here. Hello. So I'm going to be doing a uh, build um, tonight. Um... Our lug does a um, um, build challenge every month, and we get seed parts for it. And usually we'll have a theme. We don't always have a theme, um, but sometimes we do. And um, Ben's hair looks fancy tonight. It's So I got a haircut, and then I took a shower last night and slept on it, so now I have a giant cowlick. That's what the fancy is. Um so this is what I looked like all day today, and it looks terrible, but whatever. Uh, you're here for the build. That's all it's doing. So I wanted to show you also what I'm working on. These are the uh, sections for the Horizon Zero Dawn um, scene that I'm doing. And this is what they look like. They're just big, hollow, giant. They're like Mills plates on steroids. There's nothing under them except the plates. And I have to extend the plates to the end here because I was short a couple studs, two studs. I thought I was going to have a whole thing in here that I would work on setting the plates up. But what I ended up doing is putting um, some Technic bricks under here to shore the whole thing up. So now I've come back and I'm using whatever um, landscaping bits that I have left over from the Mars base as um, filler for this. So that's what... That's what else is being worked on. So that's what all this is. It's plants, landscaping stuff. Um, but this is the seed part for, um, yeah, it's kind of pompadourish. I would love to do pompadour style hair. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, I would want to shave the beard a little bit though, because this plus a pompadour makes it look like, makes me look like Mac the knife from the, um, McDonald's commercials, Mac the night, uh, Mac tonight, whatever it is. So, uh, anyway, this is the seed part for this month. And the idea is build a tower. Everybody builds a something on this. And at the top you put, um, um, just tiles and stuff. And so everybody can stack it, right? Tiles in like one or two. Um, stud so everybody can stack it and then it's a collaborative build and everybody builds up as high as they can with their their tower so I'm gonna work on mine tonight I have an idea of what I want to do and I wanted to try it out a little bit but that's the seed part everybody got one of these um you had Tia Juanitas today is that a is that a Houston lunch thing uh, we had torchies for dinner um, also let me know how the sound and video quality is I know the, the lights a little off I don't know if I need actually need that. Yeah, that'd be that's a little better. You can still see what I'm doing, right? Doesn't have to be all lit up like that. Um, that was a little annoying. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do. I don't have any new ones. So I've got a ton of different kinds. So this shelf right here, you can't really see it, is just a ton of masonry bricks. Um, I think the one I have the most of is probably nougat. So maybe we'll do nougat. So I'm gonna bag of nougat bricks. 
Um, I was going to try to do, um, here's the other thing I wanted to do. So my son gave me a bunch of, uh, Marvel figures. And the idea I wanted, because last time I did a building like this, uh, Southeast Texas restaurant chain. Cool. What's up, Johnny? Yes. Build challenge. Camera froze up again. Nice. It's just going to happen all night. Last, last stream it was fine. This time, it's just going to keep happening. We'll just have to keep resetting it. And I'm sorry. Um, what's up, Missy? So last time we did an 8x16 and I did sort of a... Uh, Doctor Strange in the middle of it, and then he was kind of blasting the the bricks away from the building, but he but the building was still kept, so you could stack something on top of it. So I'm gonna try that again, but a different sort of uh, thing, and I want to get um some figures to like have a. I wanted to do Spider Man and a um a strong person. But I don't know who really. I guess Superman. S Superman would probably cream Spider-Man. And I don't know of a bad guy that would fight Spider-Man really well. Except I have somewhere, if I can remember where I put him. Because it might be important that I remember where I put this guy. Um, maybe this, maybe Spider-Man and the Vulture, but now I'm trying to remember where I put, because I kept the Vulture together. He was in a bunch of pieces, so let's do Spider-Man and if I can find the Vulture. I don't have a Doc Ock. Have you ate at Casa Bonita? Yeah, the restaurant, yeah, I was a kid. It's a restaurant in Denver. All right, I still have it together, cool. I think it's mostly together. I wouldn't even be able to tell you if it was not together or not. So there's the vulture. It's gonna be pretty big. I don't know, this may not be, because I wanted to do like him. So the idea was I wanted to do just like a regular tower and then one side of the tower is being blown away. And out of this is like coming, uh, jumping out uh, like out here like this is a couple of superheroes and they've thrown each other out of the wall and they're still fighting um, and then have like bricks kind of come out and separated. So this might be a little big. We're on a bigger building. You could see it. I like how the camera stops and then starts again. That's interesting. Um, you can see that that's just too big. It won't line up really well. Um, <clears throat> so, Spider-Man against somebody else. And I don't have too many superhero figures because I don't. But Spider-Man against Iron Man, there's a scene where they fight for a hot second, right? I don't have hardly any superhero. This is all I have for superhero figures. Um, so Casa Bonita. I would do a, a big figure like this, but they don't pose very well. Maybe the Hulk? Yeah, let's do Spider-Man versus the Hulk. Sometimes he can be, be mean. Or Dark Side. 
I think Darkseid and Spider-Man or Superman would be better. Um, Batman, I got Batman. Ooh, Venom. There we go. Perfect. I got Venom. That'll be good, right? Spider-Man Venom. Uh, Casa Bonita is a restaurant that I grew up with. It's a restaurant in Denver. Um, and uh, except I do want, want the webbing. So I'll figure out how to use the webbing too. Um, but let's go ahead and start with some bricks. Just get some bricks out here. Um, it is a um, kind of a novelty restaurant. It's Tex-Mex, um, but it's kind of novelty space. It's kind of a grotto. Uh, it's, ca it's not cafeteria style, but you kind of go get your own food. The line you go through and pick out the meal you want. And then um, uh, they have uh, games that you can play. They have people walking around uh, being characters. There's uh, a guy who shows up and has a cliff diver. Um, it's just kind of an experience. When I was growing up, it was a bit of a joke, too, because the food wasn't good. And it was kind of a not a dirty place, but not a very clean place. You know, kind of dank and had been there a while. Um, also, it wasn't in the best part of town. So there was a lot not going for it. Um, and it shut down for a little bit. Um, and then it reappeared as a kind of um, iconic thing when South Park was talking about it. And then everybody wanted to go to uh, Casa Bonita. And since then, it's had a bitter revival. Um, I don't think they've, it's not like they've expanded or franchised it, I don't think, but whatever. All right, so, because it's a white bottom on the bottom there, I'll want to use a couple other pieces. Got a whole drawer full of these guys that I want to use as, like, part of the, the build. Um, I also wanted to try to do... Something creative with these, <clears throat> a little bit, on the sides or something. Um, I kind of wanted these to stick out a little bit. It's basically what I wanted. So let's see how we can figure that out. So underneath, it doesn't need to be anything, but up top, it still needs to be this shape with uh, tiles and stuff on it. Um... <clears throat> May move this. So let's pull that one out. Have a little more room to work with, and you can kind of see it a little better. It's kind of a mess, but this is the workspace. This is the table. This is where all the magic happens. So first things first, we got to be able to get Spidey and Venom fighting, and I think we're just gonna have them kind of grappling each other, maybe, kind of flying out the. The side. <clears throat> I like that. I've moved everything to point back here. Now I don't know where any of the camera stuff is. So kind of like flying out the side like that. I want to like egregiously have it kind of way out here. <clears throat> and it shouldn't affect. And then I'll put stuff inside. I was thinking of putting like a scared person and um, some furniture. I like these windows, and I'm going to replace them with some white frames. So what's everybody up to? 
Um, I don't think the, uh, ew, that's kind of a off yellow, kind of a gross yellow. I don't think the tie interceptor is a, um, is a rumor anymore. So we can talk about the tie interceptor if you guys are interested in talking about that. Um, just finished a STEM night at my wife's school and we had the Lego building stations. Cool. Was it one of those? Oh, I thought that was James. Network reworking artwork for Brick Rodeo. Nice. Um, get a couple of these out because I think I want to do this instead. The only problem with working over here is I can't sit, um, which is fine in a way because I can, all my parts are over here so I can just easily walk and get stuff and come back and build. Um, it'd be great if I had like a rolling chair and this streaming table was here instead, but I like this table. It's a little more broad and I can put a lot of stuff on it. Um, it's just, it's when I'm standing up, it's belly height. So it's, it's like a bar table for outside or something, but it works well enough. And then I can put stuff under it, uh, to store. Um, so not too bad. All right. So what I think I want to try, cause I want to make, I want to do the features a little more creatively on the sides. Got some white. Let's just try this. Because I have a lot of these bricks. And I want to be able to use them a lot. So something like this. Did I decide to do bricks on the outside? No, I did not. <clears throat> Tie interceptor looks great. Can't wait to get it and compare it to lungs to the original. Are you going to get the Artemis space launch system? That's the thing that I'm not really sure. Like I wanted to talk about it and then it was a rumor and then it showed up in like a, an airport in Taipei. And I'm like, I guess it's not a rumor anymore. I guess it's real. Um, so yeah. Yes, I'm getting the Artemis launch system. I am probably not going to get the, um, oh, you know what? I could do, yeah, let's do fours. Probably not going to do the, um, the tie interceptor. I still have my tie interceptor, my tie. If you can see it up there, if I were to turn off the light, you'd be able to see it. Can I cover that? You can see it up there behind the scout trooper helmet. Um, and I've replaced, I've secretly replaced their coffee with uh, Folgers. Let's see if they notice. I've uh, replaced all the blue with uh, light blue gray and I think it looks amazing. The downside is that it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, have the newer curved roundish pieces for the cockpits, but I'm okay with that. I think that looks fine. I don't need to have a second one. Um, so probably not, but the definitely the Artemis one. Lamborghini, I've heard talk about that. Yeah, v Vab should absolutely do it. I think I'm going to build it live too, but he should absolutely do it.
All right, so I have a basic idea of how I'm going to do the building now. That's great. And on either side, we'll do a window. Make the window fit inside there. So that's kind of what I'm going for there, sort of a layered look to the building, not just walls. Um, and then it'll get about halfway up, and I'll put some of these. I'll cap them with these little half dome things kind of near the top a little bit. <clears throat> um, so because it's a, this is, it's going to be a very tall building. It's a very small room, but all four sides are going to have windows. Maybe we'll see. Um, this is so gross. I can't really tell even in this light. If it's the whole frame that's gross or if it's just the top. I think it's just the top. So we'll leave it <clears throat> for now. Did you see the back to the feet to the 80s was delayed another week? They try to select the top five. Yeah, I think they. I it, it felt like they skipped it. It felt like they skipped a step. And. Um, kind of purposefully delayed it so they could do it right, which I think is kind of funny. Like, no, no, we'll get it. All right, so I don't need that to happen. Oh, I do, okay. Because this needs to come out too. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, whoops. Doesn't matter, I don't think ours got in. Also, Dune comes, part two comes out on physical release in the 14th next month, sweet. Such a good movie. Both of those movies were just really top notch. I really, really enjoyed them a lot. Um, <coughs> this color, but at some point, I think I'm going to need to make a. Um, so this needs to be done by Saturday. Saturday is our lug meeting and I need to have this done by then. So whatever I can get to work, that will be the thing that works. Or no, Sunday, not Saturday. <clears throat> but yes, I did see the, um, I'm going to leave this side open a little bit because that's going to be the, everything's going to be exploding out side. So we'll fill that in a little later. Pop these two out. Not really into the Lamborghini. Yeah, Saturday's the sort. Um, that's going to be a busy day. I'm trying to think of what else I got going on. So Friday, we're going out with some friends and then Saturday we also have a, um, a stitch and bitch for, um, some Austin FC people going down to a friend's house and hanging out and sewing patches. And then Sunday, as usual, is streaming. Um, and then the meeting, which I may have to abort or do an early stream because uh, our meeting is at noon instead of two. So uh, may have to do like a 9 a.m. stream or something, or maybe just not stream on Sunday. We'll see. See how I feel. <clears throat> So let's finish that side. Okay. And then from here, we can do a window. So 
See if I can get another window over. don't have a whole lot of shutters. Would have liked to have had at least one more shutter or some glass. But it doesn't look like I have either at that size. I have yellow shutters. God, I hate this song. Uh, maybe I can do two. These all have the glass in them. Yes, they do. If I have four of these. And I do. All right, so that'll work. Then I can have just another window being blown out one side, and then it won't matter. <clears throat> Okay, so we continue to build up. <clears throat> oh, I lost my chat. So my monitors are all uh, backwards too. Posted some news uh, in the Discord. Discord may be why I'm having problems with the camera. Don't switch. JJ Abrams making his own Back to the Future with Timothy Chalamet. E. Well, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and close Discord. <clears throat> it does say, do you want to switch your input devices? And I always say no, but... It's kind of like Zoom and Teams. Every time one is running, the other one's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who this Zoom person is. <clears throat> and tries to take the camera, and it does all this crazy stuff. There we go. That'll fix the uh, internal bits. Cool. Same height, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I've been able to run Discord before, but I guess it is a problem. I mean, I should have known it was a problem. <clears throat> so I'm nearly done with the um, horizon landscape. I've got I've got on order some pieces to make the grass that she hides in. Um, it's going to be the same grass that was on the... Oh, I forgot I had this beverage. I'm going to try something goofy. We're going to try a mighty swell. It's called Tiger's Blood. I don't know what it's going to taste like. Do I have water here? Oh, God. Like, as soon as I cracked it open, I could smell it. Eh. Tastes like any other of those, like, white claw, something or other things. <clears throat> um. But then after that's done... I'm going to start packing all that. That's going to be the big next project is um, figuring out how to pack all that stuff up. Because it's I've got the Mars base, which is <clears throat> about four feet long, about three and a half, two, 
two and a half, three feet tall, maybe more than that. Um, pretty hollow, pretty fragile. Got to figure out how to transport it. It does come apart into kind of smaller, larger chunks, but can't wait for Shadow of the Eared Tree. Don't know what that is, man. You may have to tell the class what that's all about. Um, we're going to do one or two bricks remaining over here because I don't want the whole wall to go away. This is going to be <clears throat> I'm actually pretty jazzed about um, uh, the scenery coming together. Um, it is uh, it's looking pretty good. It's got a nice mix of a uh, sort of realism and a little bit of camp and comp, uh, childlike wonder about it. Yeah, Baradur and Bumblebee. Definitely Bumblebee. Not sure about Baradur. I would love to, but again, same as you, I'd be broke. So I think we'll go this far and maybe this last brick will be blown out. We'll have to see. <clears throat> There's a, a giant cord running along the front of the table here and it's tied to this light. And I know I'm going to turn around and walk and I'm just going to take it with me. All right. Um, the next thing is to get my bucket of sticks. And I don't think I have any clear ones, but I want one of these in clear. To suspend them unless they are tied to the bricks. So I don't have any of those in clear, so I'm gonna go to my backup, which is these in clear. Just to have out here. And they work okay, except they kind of limit how much you can do if you like that. have posing stands and I have I don't have clear do they not make those in clear one by one round with holes in them in clear doesn't matter goes in the top and now I can get them at a little bit of an angle. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's put a piece of black in here just for now. A little higher up. Edge. 
really close to the edge. And then I have... Is one of your sons the Kwisatz Haderach? No. <clears throat> I only have one son, and he is not the Kwisatz Haderach. He's barely... He's also not Lisan Al-Gaib. I like how that's the... Everyone's going crazy over that on, like, social media now. They're doing all kinds of trends and everything with Lisan Al-Gaib. <clears throat> Spidey. He's got his web. And let's say it's wrapped around Venom. Yeah, what happened? Hey, Bath. So there we go. Got him fighting off to the side like that. Kind of coming out of the... I think they could probably be more angled, but I think with brick exploding out of the side of it, it should be all right. Now, the brick exploding out of the side of it will be a little easier... Just need a lot of trans clear stuff. I honestly don't have a whole lot of it. I thought I did. Just gonna have to use a ton of these things apparently. And round bricks. Um. But we can start doing things like this. Get the brick kind of coming out. Kind of exploding out of the way. Actually exploding this direction. Um, right, kind of exploding out. So the other thing we could do is um, <clears throat> no, these are dark orange. Um, trying to think of like good things for shrapnel. Then I have to all be these bricks, but I'd like it to be all that color. So like, I don't have a whole lot of good nougat cheese wedges. I have a lot of dark orange cheese wedges. But I don't have dark orange bricks. So. <clears throat> so we move this a little closer. I don't think I can, but this is definitely a, not a permanent setup. This is a. This is what I did ten minutes before, or actually a couple hours before. <clears throat> All right. Let's keep building up this building.
I was hoping to use some snot bricks in here, but I don't think I have the right color. Try some white ones just to kind of, because if the top, uh, on the top of the windows, I was going to do a border. Might be able to do the bottom of the windows too, now that I think about it. Let's do something. If you introduce the colors in a different location, you can repeat them without it being a problem if they look like different bricks, right? So now I'm going to use these uh, rail bricks to give the window ledges a little bit of like window ledge ish. Where's the camera right there? Kind of like mine sort of, sort of over the shoulder. Only mine is the right shoulder. Yours. Yeah. <clears throat> Also, I'd rather sit. I don't know about you, but this standing stuff's for the birds. All right, so the windows now have window sills or window ledges a little bit. So they got a little bit of window ledge in there, which means I'm also going to go back, take off all this, and put a run of white underneath this. match the windowsill. <clears throat> so that it matches the height later on. The question is, do I want to go all the way around or do I want to keep it? I think I want to keep it inside. That can be six. Let's go based off of this. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So going behind these guys, I think this will look neat. <clears throat> and then. Don't have these in one by fours. I wish I did. Just have to do. I think this is gonna look neat. Um, it also means I have to put. I got tons. It don't matter. Bricks in there. I think I have everything I need now. <laughs> so we'll do this. I know it doesn't make any sense because that's covered up, but I still like it. So we're just going to do that. It makes sense to me.
kind of debating going and grabbing my phone so I know what the hockey game's doing, but I also maybe want to watch the highlights later without being too spoiled. So now that we've got, that we've established there's white around the building, I can use these white pieces as things to hold bricks out without it looking too odd. So like, stick this guy there and you've got a piece of brick blown, blown out, right? <clears throat> Show on the other side. Everybody caught up on um, Shogun? Still very good. The penultimate episode happened last week, and I will not say anything. Okay, now I can start using these. I guess I could also use these. White maybe too much, but I wish I don't. I just don't have any more clear. That doesn't matter. <clears throat> I kind of want to go see if I've put any of these cheese wedges on my landscape, and then go grab them for the meeting. And then when I take this apart, nope, I don't. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I will do Just no time to watch TV lately. Someday, maybe. I do want to see Shogun and Fallout. They're very good. I uh, I try to make time. I can get away with a little bit of watching some TV while I work, but it's not often. Um, but definitely give it a... Give those a go when you do have time. Ooh. Wish I had more of these. Fallout is especially good. Um, I was really surprised how much I liked that. So I want these to be more facing. <clears throat> oh, you know what? It's fine. I'm so picky. I think it adds more character to be slightly slightly off.
Uh, catching up on or keeping up when it comes out with Discovery. Um, so far this season isn't as bad as, like, I, Discovery's always been my, like, yeah, I guess I'll watch it because it's Star Trek. But I won't like it. Um, but it's it's been okay. Like, it hasn't been terrible. This time around, I'm kind of kind of pleased with that. Put this here. Put those guys together. It's not really a ringing endorsement when you're like, yeah, it doesn't suck. But. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes doesn't suck is all you got these days. <laughs> well, when there's shows like Shogun and Fallout that are very, very good, you got to be worried that doesn't suck ain't going to get it for you. But this is also Discovery's last season. So... Um, Even if it does suck, it's not like it's going to, it won't, <laughs> it may hurt, but it won't hurt for very long. How's that? So I got feedback from the um, sandwich folk and they liked it and they had some suggestions. So I'll be trying out some of their suggestions. Um, they wanted the ingredients to pop a little more, which I totally get. Uh, that's just going to be more pieces and more craziness trying to figure out how to make it all work. But I think it's all doable. Um, so that was good. That was pot, um, positive. So Gloopy Gale, greetings. Welcome. Um, change of setup. I'm building, uh, we have a, um, a build challenge with our lug to build towers. And these are the seed parts to 16 by 16 plates. So I'm, you know, and then you build it up and then you cover it with, uh, like mostly tiles with the, um, either jumpers or with the the uh, studs on either side of it so they can stick together with other tiles and then everybody builds one and we stack them up as high as we can go. So my idea was to have like a, like a kind of a New York city, uh, Harlem Queens, something type of building and then Spidey and uh, Venom come crashing out the side cause they're fighting. So that's what, that's what I'm working on. The hardest part's going to make the brick look like it's flying out from the fight, but so far so good. I just have to transport it very carefully because it's all going to be kind of like poised a little bit. How are you doing, by the way? How's it going? Welcome. Happy Thursday.
You transport it, wrap it up in saran wrap, or like one of those. Well, I'm not taking it on a plane or anything. Usually I'll put it in a box on like I have I have a ton of T-shirts from being a dad, um, from being a parent. Um, they are shirts from like Kickstart, Kickstart. Yeah, Kickstart, not Kickstarter, but Kickstart, the karate school thing um, that Chuck Norris started. I guess it's Taekwondo. Um, and um, so I've got a bunch of shirts from that and from Band and the like. And um, I use them to pack up models. So I, I kind of crumple it up a little bit, put something down on top of it, put the model down drape a t-shirt over it and what that does really is it just kind of immobilizes it enough without being squeezed um and it's soft enough to where it won't like bang into anything and it doesn't shift really uh, a whole lot in transit and then i can layer it like a lasagna so i can put a model down a couple t-shirts another model a couple t-shirts model um and that's that's worked so far the downside is and i'm going to start doing this is put them in ziploc bags and then do that um so the pieces stay together because the more you transport, the pieces will kind of come apart on you. <clears throat> All right. So from here. And, you know, I'm only driving for about 20 minutes with this guy. So I'll just put them on the front seat with me in a box with a t-shirt or something like that. And even if it shifts, that's the whole point. You get there, you put it back together, it's fine. It's not a problem. We don't show up to the meetings and go, oh, gasp. Your build obviously was not made for transport. How dare. <clears throat> Now for this guy, so yeah, see how I've got like the the white on the corners matching the thing in here? I like that look. I think it looks kind of nice. And then when we get up to the top of the windows here, I'm probably going to go another um, five bricks up. Not too many because you want to have quick access to a minifigure. Um, you don't want to go too high because then it doesn't make sense in terms of like realism. I'm talking about Spidey and Venom fighting, but you know, another like maybe one or two layers up there should be all right. But also I have to make sure that this is all supported of another... Like I can put another um, one of these on top of it. So even all this stuff is going to have to have something over here to hold it. But being held by three sides should be fine. <clears throat> I think. Make stuff really far away. We want, to, want the window to be really far out here. Let's 
Give you a couple bricks on it. One brick there. Put shit like that. Put it down here. Yeah, you got your blew the window off kind of thing as they're flying. <clears throat> All right. Man, standing for a long time sure sucks. What time is it? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay. Oh, this is going to be, so this is going to be the finish of this side. So I'm not looking forward to the next couple of weeks of work because we are um, in the midst of construction for our building and it um, not only is there construction, but it's also going to be um, we got a big conference coming up in like two weeks. And so in the middle of this conference, we also have to have, uh, well, like a conference is happening while they're finishing up two of our major floors. So we got to get all our networking equipment in, uh, including like Wi-Fi and cameras, um, make sure all the drops are all to the desks. Uh, and we got a company doing that. Um, have to rack mount all the switches, Plug them in, make sure they're patched right. All while we have this major conference where nobody's going to be in the building. It's going to be like me and one other dude. And I'm like, well, that's my job for the next like couple weeks. So that's going to be fun. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it, you know, it's got to be done. All right. So I need another six on top here. Six is there, six there. Hold it together nicely. <clears throat> Fill some of these holes in here just so it's a little more stable. I have the brick, might as well use it. Oh, so you do stand while you're building. Okay. I thought you just had a little desk that you stood at or that you sat at. All right. I do sometimes, like when I'm doing this by myself, I do prefer standing. Um, also, I just prefer being next to all my pieces. Um, I'm also wearing better shoes. Right now I'm wearing like slippers. So... Could be wearing better better shoes. So let's see, we got, I know there was a Star Wars game that was coming out. It's got some gameplay that we saw, um, Outlaw. Um, thought it looked pretty good. Also got to look at Tales of the Jedi. That was a few weeks ago, so nothing really new. Um,
So Beth has a patient who has DID and in bonding with this person who they're also a very good artist. Um, the person said, uh, well, one of my favorite animes, which I, I identify with one of the characters in the anime is, uh, I'm going to get this wrong. Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, which is, <clears throat> I'm not going to say a typical anime, but it's very, if you see it, you probably like, yep, I know what that's all about. Um, stick some of this out the side here. So it looks like it's breaking. Um, and then the problem is I'm going to also have to, once this is all blown out and I can add more things, I have to cover it back up. So it'll have to have a nice thing going across here that has things coming out too. So <clears throat> Beth doesn't like anime at all. Um, the style of the animation makes, makes her tweak a little bit. She doesn't like flashing images. She doesn't like when they stand there and they talk and lines are going behind them. Um, we were watching something and she's like that, that right there. I don't like that. I'm like what? She's like, when he's walking and all you see is this, like this camera angle is perfect. You just see his feet like this doing this and the ground's moving underneath it. And I'm like, so did you not like when like, um, Yogi and Boo Boo were running and the background was just moving behind them? She's like, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I was like, this is the exact same kind of animation. Does anybody watch um, Sandesk so I can lower it? I've done that for longer. The desk is large, so it fits everything, including my monitor. Very cool. We have a standing desk, too, and I might... That may be a thing. I might move that in here and use that and be like raise and lower because um, I got it for Beth so she could when she was working from home and and their treadmill, right? So it was rising and standing so she could raise it up and walk and work. And then if she needed to move the treadmill, sit, lower the desk. Used it one time. So that was a good, whatever it cost. Um, so I've used the treadmill since then and I think I'm gonna move the raising and lowering desk in here. I think that'll be great. Okay, so here is where I will use these guys. Um, anyway, so she has a patient who said they really like this anime. And uh, so Beth, being the good um, therapist she is, was like, well, I'm gonna go watch this and see what it's all about. And so she did, and she actually is kind of interested in the story and um, she's like, I'm going to give this one episode. I'm like, all right. So we watched it and I was like, so what person did your patient identify with in this? She's like, well, apparently he doesn't show up till like episode 10. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay. So good, but... Probably do a little more. And that'll be the end of that side. So like that, and then I'll put more bricks up on top here. And line the whole back of that. That back. <clears throat> but yes, I am excited about the um, Artemis set. I think that's going to be great. Definitely, not a day one purchase, but definitely a very soon purchase. 
Um, just very into space stuff. <clears throat> huh. I have a whole one bag for that one one by four brick. Um, so is anybody else watching any anime that they would recommend? I still haven't gone back to uh, Demon Slayer yet, although I heard that's the thing to do. Um, the character that I don't like so much is not in it as much as I was fearing, so I may go back. Oh, I wanted to do something with the top of the... <clears throat> Um, so here's where I wish I had some nougat snot bricks, or if they even make nougat snot bricks. They have dark tan, but that's not really the same. I don't think they have nougat brackets. That would be cool. Hmm. All right, so I have an idea. If this works. Try this. Works. I'm going to need. These all need to be up. So dark gray. I'm trying to do little flourishes in the building. I have a lot of plates. Change color. <clears throat> so yeah, any animes you guys watch that you like? Uh, seen any good movies that you would recommend? So I like that. But I had to do it like this. So I had to put like those tiles with the brackets. So I need one, two, I need eight more of those. Then I should be able to build that up and put like bricks back to it to solidify a little bit. All right, so I'm calling out the seven people who, nine people who voted in the the, um, the poll. 
aren't here. Y'all need to be showing up. Because if you vote for something to happen and then you don't show up, I'm just going to do whatever the heck I want. You want to watch Civil War, <clears throat> the new uh, the new movie that's out? I heard it was a little like I don't know. I don't know what the what I'm looking for is the phrase I'm looking for. Not divisive, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I like near future stories like that, though. I think those are kind of fun. Be interesting to see, I think. I'd check it out. So we can vote for tasks for Ben doesn't want to do and he will do them. No. So the community post I had, uh, what do you want to see done tonight? A, a mock or um, this or um, I'll start back on the uh, Q2 stadium because I need to get back into working on that. And more people wanted to see a mock. And I'm like, cool. <clears throat> But it's like, but then be here. I don't know. I'm a little grumpy. And I'm working up a sweat standing here. Farthest room away from, there's two heating ducts in here, or there's two air ducts in here. But I don't feel them, really. So at this level, I'm probably going to start closing it back up. Which means I will probably use the roof section up here to hang more debris floating off. So I think I've got a good amount on the sides and everything right now. I'll probably do a couple more out this way, I think. Yeah, a couple more. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll close this all up. So let's put this up here. Um, I think that's as high as I want to go with it. So let's put these guys up here. Ordered a ton of these for the, uh, the Q2 stadium. Um, because I, um, was doing a waterfall and these look great as, uh, little bits of, 
uh, where the water hits the, they look like churning sort of waterfall bits. And um, I took a bunch of them off the roof of the Q2 stadium. And um, so I ordered a bunch to get them all back. Now I have a ton of them. <clears throat> so I have these guys. I can use these. Pretty stable, good. Ah. That's the other drawback to uh, working while standing is if I drop something, it falls from a greater height. It bounces all over the place. It has many more things to fall under and I have to bend over to pick it back up. And that's no fun. I do not like doing that at all. The age is finally catching up to me. <clears throat> so the five they picked for the getting back to the um, um, 80s thing, they did pick five. They're not bad, the ones they picked. I have a feeling a few of them were already kind of ones that people had ready to go. Um, and were just like, yeah, it's my time to shine. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to cap this all off. The um, I think my favorite's probably the Thundercats one. It's pretty good. Um, it's very well done. Oh, they're actually going to... I thought they, they'd already done it. Maybe they just... They, they were like, here's the judged ones, and... Then we're going to open it up for voting next week. I, I know they missed a step um, in this round. Like in previous rounds, they didn't have any problems. But this round, they messed something up. And I don't know what it was. Um, but yeah, there were a bunch of really good ones. This one guy did a, um, a Dino Rider set that looked really, really great. I think I'm going to do I'm going to get too many of these, but I got 
basic 2x16s. And I might have that kind of over that. So if this goes over this, starting here, it needs to go up one more brick, doesn't it? So we'll need to be one more high. So I'm gonna be, I'm, I hate to do this, but it's just, yeah, that'll be fine. So I'm gonna make it go in, which means it goes in there, which means it goes there, which means I need to figure out is it high enough. Hey, Macro. How's it going? He says it even moves. Yeah, it says it's in Judge's Review until the... Oh, Judge's Review until the 26th. They couldn't decide. The Thundercats one looks great. Here we go, Macro. This is uh, Spidey and Venom fighting and blowing out the side of a building. So, that's what that looks like. Um, if I got time, I'm going to go back and put in furniture. What time is it? 9.30? Excuse me. Of course, this is the part that doesn't go together very well. Oh, let's try it from the right angle. How you doing, Macro? How's life in the Great White North? That is a two, four, five. That's a two by ten. No, that's more than a 10. What is that? That is a 12. <sighs> you built a lot in a short amount of time from concept to creation. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. This is what I do when I go to bed at night. I just lay there and think of how to build the thing. Um... I feel like that way I wake up and I can just start building. Um, without like putting a whole lot into it. This is a drawer for weird tiles. So you got your your seat tiles, and you got your one by fours with the studs on the ends, you got your minifigure displays, and you got your uh, one by threes. I think that's it. I'm hoping I get a couple of these. Four should do.
You ever get out of bed put to put the bricks together so you can go to sleep? I do. Yeah, I absolutely do. Your mom and yours, you built yours today. That's great. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I do. Sometimes um, I will wake up and be like, I have to go in the other room and, and do this or else I'm not going to be able to sleep. And of course, I, I get up and Beth's like, is everything OK? I'm like, yeah, I just have to go build something. And she's like, oh, my God, I have married a big nerd. I mean, I guess it could be better. I'm not coming home going, I'm just coming home for my extramarital affair. So, I mean, six of one, half dozen of another. What are you going to do? Or I put it together at least a sketch. Yeah. Ooh, that is, nope. Yeah, because sometimes I don't trust that my memory will hold on to whatever idea I had. So I have to go and... Really quick, knock it out. All right. A little bit of turnabout. I got some nougat tiles. I think this ties the whole thing together quite nicely. Okay. So that's going to be a little loose to put another thing on top of. So I think I'm going to shore that up under there a little bit right there. Um, I don't think I can do any more than that because I want to, I want to have some stuff come off of here. But there you go. There's your tower. It's got some nice little ornamentation on it. The side there. The windows. And then uh, exploding bricks out the side. And it's not exploding so much that the center of gravity is probably still... I can put some furniture in here or something, but the center of gravity is right about there instead of here. So... <clears throat> Sad eight. It's going to be a little more once I put some more bricks falling off of this. I'm 35. Uh, where's Green Goblin? Uh, I don't have Green Goblin, but I have Vulture. Vulture was too big. If he was bu busting out of this thing, it would have been the whole side of the building. And um, Venom was the only other Spider-Man. I don't collect a lot of um, Marvel Lego, so... This is all from my sons. Um, he reached an age where he didn't want his Lego anymore, so it became my Lego. <clears throat> Actually, it was several years of just hang on to it for me. And then it was, um, yeah, you can keep it, but don't sell it or anything. And then it was, Dad, I don't care about that. You do whatever you want. So that's where we are. The center of gravity is just fine. Well, and I figure if more things sit on top of it, I'm just worried that like the taller it gets, if this becomes one of them, it'll pull it to one side, but it's fine. I'll stick some furniture in the other side or something. Um, this person goes here. I want to put maybe a person or two inside the house to be like, yay, there's a fight. But I need uh, faces that are like, ah, so I'll have to go dig for a couple of those. Um, and then like some knocked over chairs. Um, oh, let's work on this part of it. So I don't have any. Oh, you know what I do have? Pretty sure. In my bag of inverted slopes. 
I was really positive I had uh, some nougat inverted slopes. I have, again, dark tan, lots of tan. I guess I could get away with doing a white. Don't have a lot of nougat of that would have been more helpful early on. Some of these little uh, corner plates. I don't have a lot, but I have a few. That might help with a few things. I'm just like looking for parts now. I'm just like, yeah, that looks like it'll work. So. The first thing that we'll do is underneath, we'll put a couple bricks that are lingering. Find where they go. <clears throat> In fact, probably. A good time to use the one by fours. Okay. More under here. One more of these guys. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. I feel like it's hard to see for some reason. Maybe it's just my eyes and it's like a lot of bags and stuff here, but... Turn this light back on. Boo. Might be a little better to see it. I don't know where the camera is either. I'm so used to the other thing. I think that'll work. Um, and it's pretty stable. Like, it's not going anywhere. So, ta-da. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to be done for now. Um, I might fill this, and I can just turn this. I might fill this with some furniture or a person saying eek, but uh, I think the basics are done. Um, let me get, do I have another uh, 16 by 16 plates to test this? I don't. I used them all.
but that should be fine with these studs right here on the tops to hold it in place. So yeah, <clears throat> I think I'm good for now. Put some of this away. All right, so because Sunday is the Lego meeting for this, I may not be streaming. Um, trying to think anything else I can put away. All these guys. Those guys. Um, I just don't want to get like too stressed about the day. Hi, baby. Do you want to see uh, the saddest thing ever? Come here. Come here, come here, come here. So Aggie's got a scrape on her arm. So she's wearing a little inflatable collar. So she doesn't lick it. Because she's been licking it and worrying it and it's getting red. So she's got to wear this little inflatable collar. It's either this or a cone. Isn't this the saddest thing? Don't you the saddest thing ever? She hates it. Absolutely hates it. I think it looks like one of those... Uh, Airline neck pillows, so I don't know what she's complaining about. You're the picture of jet setting style, my love. Um, yeah, so I don't want to like stress myself out about um, meeting and uh, uh, a stream, so I may skip Sunday. And I apologize, um, but. I'll be back Thursday of next week and uh, definitely probably be doing the um, the Q2 stadium um, just because I really want to kind of get back into it. I had some thoughts that I want to try out and uh, we'll see how it goes. So um, I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I hope you have a good rest of your week. Uh, we got a weekend coming up. Stay safe. Uh, do something fun. Go see a movie. Go hang out with your friends. Um, and uh, I will talk to you all later. Bye.